Welcome to the channel. I'm Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011, and I wanted to do some news today. I know that I have uh, gotten some feedback in the past that the news is, is not something that some of you guys like on the channel. Uh, I'm sorry. That's what today's video is about. There are people that like to hear my stance and, and may not have even heard about the news. So if you're not one of the fans of the news, um, I'm sorry. Please come back tomorrow, and uh, thanks for at least giving this one a try. Anyways, uh, we're here on Mac Rumors. I know I've gotten some questions before. What blogs do I use uh, to keep up on things? Of, of course, aside from our wonderful blog, techinform.us, we've got tons of uh, new stuff coming in still, uh, as well as our Tekken 5, which has been really, uh, really good. Mike and Colt are doing an amazing job with this. Be sure to check out um, the our, uh, our, on iTunes. Just do a search for Tekken 5. We've got five minutes or less podcasts going over the news, and they're doing really an amazing job putting that together. Moving on, MacRumors.com. This is one of the big sites that I get my news from. Anyways, the iPhone, the most popular and most desired phone in the world, that's a fact, is now coming to Sprint, which is something that thousands of, maybe more than that, of people have really, really been hoping and looking forward to. The iPhone up until February of 2011 was an AT&T exclusive device. You could not get the phone on Verizon or anybody else. Well, Verizon got it in February of 2011, and it looks like Sprint is going to be getting the phone this fall when it's released in October, along with, of course, AT&T and Verizon. That's one of the uh, one of the articles here. This has been reported by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, that's a, a pretty substantial uh, source. Sprint uses a CDMA network, which I believe is the same as what uh, Verizon uses, so they really shouldn't have to do many mods to make it run on the network, whereas uh, AT&T is GSM, that's what it was made for, and then they made a separate iPhone for Verizon. One of the other posts we're going to be talking about here that I uh, read a little bit ago was the dual mode iPhone 5. It actually showed up in app dev logs, Apple, or, uh, application developer logs. Um, and, th and that means that one iPhone will be able to run on either a GSM or CDMA network, meaning it'll still have a SIM card somewhere, which may or may not be easy to get to anymore. But uh, it'll run on the CDMA or GSM network, meaning Sprint, AT&T, or Verizon. You buy one phone and pick what network you pay for the miserable service that you'll probably get on it. So that's cool. We won't have to have multiple different phones coming out at different release points uh, based on whatever carrier you have. That's cool. Another post we're talking about here is a lower end iPhone 4. In the past, when Apple releases a new phone, they keep one of their old phones around in a small eight gigabyte version uh, at a low price, which some people really just want an iPhone. They don't care if it has the new Retina display or whatever's new on that current generation's model. They just want an iPhone, and that's fine. That is awesome that Apple can do that. So what they're going to be doing is creating a 8 gigabyte iPhone 4. As most of us know, the iPhone 4 is currently only available in 16 and 32 gigs. So you can get 8 gigs, it'll be cheaper, and it'll be uh, at the end of September or October, in my opinion, at the launch of the iPhone 5. So that's great too. Uh, most likely this will be about $99, could be 50 I would really like to see something maybe 79 bucks. I think that'd be awesome uh, to be able to get a, a phone that is as incredible as an iPhone 4 for that price. That's really cool. Like the 3GS, uh, you can get a 3GS for $49 right now. It's only 8 gigs, but for a lot of people that is fine. And the last one I want to talk about here was the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS rank as the best selling US smartphones. That is very odd, very cool, actually. Uh, there's, there's a lot here. The iPhone 4, that's no surprise. That is an amazing phone. The iPhone 3GS, like we just talked about, that's the last year's model that they've made cheaper. The HTC Evo 4G, I remember that. That's been around for a while. That's a pretty good phone. Not quite my style with Android, but it is a nice product. The HTC Inspire 4G and the Samsung Intensity 2, which I have not had a chance to use. I've got to go find one of those somewhere. But uh, it's interesting to see that Apple is commandeering the market with their incredible phone, and they're not so incredible betas, but uh, I did talk about that yesterday. Uh, I guess we can talk about this one real quick. Uh, Apple um, has updated Lion on the Mac App Store to 10.7.1, which came out sometime last week. I don't know why it took them so long. Maybe they had to do some recompiling or whatnot and then get that file uploaded and tested and everything. But um, if you were to download a 3.5 gig Lion right now from the Mac App Store, if you were to pay the 29 bucks, you're going to get 10.7.1 instead of 10.7. Um, you know, big deal. It was a 17 and a half meg upgrade. I don't know why they had to write a post about it, but there it is. 
let me know if you've stayed around this long. That means you wanted to learn something, and I'm glad that you did. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe if you like this stuff. But uh, what are your thoughts on these quick news videos? I, I know I always say quick, and then it's like seven minutes. But uh, should I do more of these, less of these? I just think it's interesting sometimes when I come to the site, and there's a lot of information here that uh, I would just like to, to make aware and to put my two cents in, if that means anything to you. Let me know uh, how you feel about that. And then our site, talked about it before. Be sure to check it out on the way out of this video. Techinform.us, more stuff all the time over here. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. School starts tomorrow in other unfortunate news. Uh, the 24th, I am going to uh, continue trying to make videos at least four days a week. Uh, possibly omitting Friday, depending on the schedule and stuff like that. The live shows, wanted to give you guys a little update on that. I know I killed those in the spring. I've uh, had a pretty good summer. It's been busy, but getting back into the fall, once I can't be outside anymore, we will definitely start up those live shows again on Tuesday nights, uh, probably between 8 and 9, or 8 and 10, or 9 and 10. We'll figure it out, and I'll make a video when that time comes. Keep in mind, my 13-inch MacBook Pro is still for sale. If you're interested, uh, send me a PM or an email to ryan at techinform.us. Again, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.